What's going on, family? This video is sponsored by Slab City Jigs. Be sure to go to slabcityjigs.com and pick you up some of the 903 Fishing Signature Series on the website. Coulter is ready to go over there, and these jigs absolutely catch crappie in the fall and winter in the creeks. I hope you all are ready to see them in action. Y'all stay tuned. What's going on YouTube? This is 903 Fishing. Welcome back to another Creek Crappie episode. In this video today, I'm going to show you guys how to catch crappie in the creek on Jig and Bobber. Now, I'm also going to be honest with you guys on another thing is that this creek right here that I'm in is known to produce large quantities of small crappie. Okay, so I figured this would probably be the best place to show you guys how to rig up the setup and to actually catch crappie that may not be that big. Now, I'm sure we may run into a couple of keepers, guys, but this video is to show you guys how to use that jig and bobber technique to catch these crappie in the creeks this fall and winter. So if you haven't, smash that thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you're already subscribed to the channel, God bless you. Y'all know I would not be doing this without you guys. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting. It means the world to me. Thank you so much. And also, if you're not subscribed, we're on the road to 75,000 subscribers on the channel. Once we hit that 75,000 subscriber mark, we're going to be giving away a lot of items to show my appreciation to my subscribers. So smash that subscribe button. Come join the family. And like I mentioned, guys, today I'm going to show you how to rig up this jig and bobber setup right here and you're gonna catch crappie in the creeks, okay, with these little tips and uh, tricks that I'm about to give you with this jig and bobber setup. So let's go ahead and get into the video. I hope y'all enjoy. Y'all stay tuned. How to catch crappie on jig and bobber in the creeks. Very first thing you're gonna do, you gotta set your rig up now. And right now I am putting my bobber stop on through that little loop this little black thing comes off you're going to tighten down that bobber stop you need it to be pretty tight it don't need to be really loose you're going to trim the excess off off of that bobber stop now you got your bobber stop on right there now the next thing you're going to do is you're going to get your small bead to be able to guide that cork that slip cork put your bead on and then you're going to have your slip cork next thing you're going to do you're going to put your slip cork you're going to put your line through your slip cork i should say just like so then your barrel swivel Put your barrel swivel on. Now I have mono leader. We're gonna attach this mono leader to the barrel swivel. So there we go. We have the barrel swivel attached to the braid. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put my mono leader on right here. Attach that. I use 12 pound mono leader. You can use whatever you prefer. And I also like to use a cinch knot. So I'll twist that barrel swivel about seven to eight times and give it some spit then you're going to bring that tag in through that last eye by the barrel swivel pull through and you just cinch it down just like that be sure to cut your excess off now and then you got your leader now what i like to do is i like to go ahead and put my split shot above put that split shot above the barrel swivel okay just like this right here tighten it on you're gonna attach your jig head right now we have a 1 16th ounce jig head that we're gonna be using today i like my leader to be about 12 inches or so there you go guys you got your jig head now last step in this process baby is going to be to put you a 903 fishing 
slab CD jig on there, baby. And you know what? Let, what color am I going to rock with today? Let's go with orange. We're going to try orange. Orange and monkey milk. Let's see if that works today. This is how I put my jigs on. So the color of the bait is on the top. The monkey milk's on the bottom. I put my hook through, slide it out the top of the jig, push that jig onto that keeper, and then boom, there you have it. And y'all already know guys, 6.6 six ACC crappie sticks, one piece right here. Of course, with the slip cork rig that you just saw me rig up. Then we have the Carbon X 500 from PC Fun. Y'all be sure to go to PCFun.com. Use code 903FISH15 to save you 15% off of your order. And this is what we're going to be using today to catch these creek crappie. This is my favorite creek crappie fishing rod, whether I'm in the kayak or I'm bank fishing for crappie in the creek. This is my go-to, the 661 piece. So let's get on these crappie. And we are pretty much ready to fish, guys. Here is your jig and bobber setup. Now, of course, with the with the bobber stop, you can, you know, however deep you want to fish. Right now, we're going to start off about two foot deep. I really don't know how deep it is in this bin right here. And I don't know if there's any fish here or not. But we're about to see. I said I was going to start two foot deep. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put up this barrel swivel, probably five to six feet. And I just want to see how deep this bend is if that cork and that cork went all the way up the bobber stop went all the way to the top so that means it's probably about that deep in there there he is no okay so i don't think it's a it's probably not see look see how i got grass on my bait so that tells me i'm probably too deep okay too deep so let's get this off of there now let's get that bobber stop back Where's that bobber stop at? Let's go another, let's go a foot and a half shallower. So that's where we're gonna start fishing right there. So let's try it out. Let's go about a foot and a half shallower. This is where we're gonna start fishing. Yeah, that bobber looks a, a lot better right now. Toss out that bobber, you give it some pops, you let it sit. A lot of the times you might get some bluegill, some brim biting. And when you do, when that happens, the bluegill are just going to tap your cork. Tap, 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 tap. Crappie are more than likely going to hit it once or twice, and they're going to slowly go down with that bobber. Or they're really going to move with the bobber. Bluegill typically won't do that. They'll just kind of tap at it because they can't put that bait in their mouth. They can't fit that jig. Unless it's a big red ear, give that cork a couple of pops, let it sit. I'm just popping that cork back to me. Popping, popping, popping. See if we can get a, a bite here. Popping that cork. Let it sit. There he is right there. Oh, oh. And there is the first fish of the day. A little small black crappie. Now guys, I'm going to be honest with you. Like I mentioned in the intro, this creek is known for small crappie so are we going to catch any keepers i don't know but this is a great place right here to show y'all how a jig and bobber really works okay so bear with me we're going to try to god dog okay we're going to try to catch some keeper fish and that right there is going to be pushing it it looks like that's going to be pushing it i don't think it is though get our checker out that right there is a nine and a half nine and a half incher guys he's actually yeah about nine and a half so you know what there could be some keeper crappie in here but like i said great great place right here to show you guys how a jig and bobber really works throw it out there you give it some pops back to you and there he is right there. And this, this, look at that guy. A little white crappie. I'm telling you guys, little white. There he is right there. There we go. There he is. There's a crappie. 
Yes, sir. Uh oh. Oh, guys. <laughs> I think we got our first keeper. Now, guys, I'm in Texas. A keeper crappie is 10 inches, okay? So let's see if he makes the cut. I think he is. Are you kidding me? Guys, y'all see that? <laughs> yeah, we're going to let him stay on there for a second. That's going to be a key. Well, he's right at 10, guys. Right at 10 inches. We're going to, he's, he may be just a tad bit short. So we're going to go ahead and let him go. See you, buddy. And then look at here. Look at this. Can't tell me this little creek ain't loaded with small fish. I mean, it's crazy. A little white crappie. Put that back. All right, guys. I thought we had our first keeper, but we didn't. Let's keep on trying. All right, guys. I went ahead and moved up just, just a tad from where I was. I had a tree that was sitting right above me. Made it very difficult to cast. So I went ahead and moved up right here. Look at there. Just threw it out there, guys. I'm telling you, these Slab City jigs right here, they're going to catch you crappie in the creeks. But we want a little bigger than that. Oh, he hit it. Popping that jig and bobber. There he is. Uh-oh, it feels like a better fish. Maybe. Oh, it is. Look at there. Look at that. That's a better crappie. For sure. Is it going to keep? I don't know. It's close. Let's see what we got. Hey, guys. Ten and a quarter. There's our first keeper right there. Ten and a quarter. You know what? Let's. Let, I just want to see how many keepers we can end up with here. Let's see how many keepers we can end up with. There's our first keeper of the of the day right there. Let's go. Pretty fish. Nice little black crappie. Ten and a quarter. So that's what we want, baby. All right, guys. Let's see if we can go right back over there. See, sometimes in, in the creeks, guys, your bigger fish will congregate together. Not, not, not always the case, but a lot of the times your bigger crappie will stay together. And once you're able to find some keeper fish, you, you know, you have a better chance of catching some in that vicinity. Look at there. There's another one. Hey, hey guys. I don't know if that's a keeper, but it's better than some of the other ones. Look at that. It's not a keeper, but we'll take that all day. A little black crappie on the orange, guys. The orange from Slab City. Right there. Put that one back. Jig and bobber, guys. I'm telling you. Simple setup right here to catch some creek crappie. And very efficient. There he is. Uh-oh. I will say there's some better quality fish over here than there was back there. I mean, I don't think that's a, that's not a keeper either, but oops. That's not a keeper either, guys. But hey, I'm telling you guys, that is fun. This is fun. I knew coming here that, you know, chances of catching 20 keepers was, you know, kind of not in sight. But okay, guys, so there's... There's two types of ways you can fish a jig and bobber, okay? The first one is the one that I've been doing where I throw out the jig and bobber, pop it three or four times, let it sit, pop it three or four times, let it sit. Now, the next one is, I like to call it walking the dog, okay? So you're gonna throw that jig and bobber out there and you're gonna constantly wiggle it. And you're slow reeling. I don't know if y'all can see that, slow reeling. I'm popping and slow reeling that, that that cork back to me continuously and there he is right there uh oh hey now a lot of the times that will keep there he is a lot of the times that will keep those smaller crappie away 
and then all of a sudden those bigger crappie come in and it will also keep the bluegill from sitting there and continuously just tearing up your jig yeah guys so i like to call it walking the dog right here okay you're continuously popping that jig and bobber continuously popping there he is yes sir not a big one hey a mohawk now i've said this in previous videos but what do y'all call these right here look at their little mohawk guys pretty fish man and you know what kills me is i don't know why there's so many smaller crappie in here you would think there would be some bigger crappie in here um there's plenty of back look at there uh oh 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 now if that's not a keeper that's got to be awful close i'm still getting hung up on stuff ahead of me if that's hey guys that's <laughs> That, that's him, I think. That's him. I think that's him. I think that's a key. And it is. Hey, almost ten and a half. Look at there. Uh, ten and a quarter. Ten and a quarter. Nice. Hey, guys. That's two keeps. That is going to be two keepers. But guess what? Hey, there's two keepers. <laughs> Let's keep rolling, baby. Let's keep going. And like I said, guys, it's it's tough to catch a keeper crappie in here. And when you do catch one, typically it is a little guy. And guys, a lot of people ask me what slip corks I use. Comal Tackle right here. These are the best slip corks in my opinion. I love them. They're, they're light. They're, they have hardly any resistance for that crappie to take down that cork. I'll put a picture of the package on the screen so y'all can see them. But I typically get mine at Walmart. And I'm pretty sure that you can order them offline as well but that is what I, I love these comal slip corks i love them walking that dog that's what i'm doing right now that's just what i call it it's just a non-stop approach and look at there it's non-stop you're moving that jig non-stop it really just depends on what the crop you want at that time but both ways will usually catch you fish now there's been certain instances where especially if a creek is really muddy you don't want to use that walk the dog okay if it's more clear water this creek right here is not as muddy as some of the other ones that i fish you can see these crappie right here on the stringer you can see them about a foot down in the water so there is some good visibility but with a little more clear creek you can use this walk the dog technique because those crappie can see that jig. They can see it a little better. So you're just continuously popping that jig. And when that cork goes under, set that hook. Set that hook. Just like that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Look at that. I'll tell you what. Ever since I've started walking the dog, I have caught... I guess better quality fish maybe not all keepers but some better quality crappie right here can you imagine guys if all these were keeper fish i mean you could limit out in 30 minutes if it was fishing about a foot and a half deep right now in the creek let's see if we can catch another one foot and a half. oh he hit that oh that's a better fish i bet I could tell by the way he hit that. Maybe not. A little better. Look at that. Another nine incher probably. And guess what, guys? These are keepers in some states. A nine inch crappie is a keeper in some states. And that is a nine, almost nine and a half incher right there. That would be, well, hold on. Yeah, nine and a half. That would be a keeper in some states, guys. Not in Texas, but. We're trying to look for them 10 inches, baby. Let's go catch some more. There he is. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hey, guys, that's close. I think that is a keeper. Like I said, if it is a keeper, it's, you know, 10 and a quarter. 
10 and a half. It's real close. Let's see what he's looking like. Hey guys, he's right at 10. Right at 10. We're gonna let him go since he's not over the line. I like to keep them if they're over the 10 inch mark. That one was right at 10 inches. Oh gosh, that one hit it. Okay. Like I said, some of these fight so hard, I don't know how they're not keepers. Look at that. Oh, that, see that's so close. So close. Look at that Slap City jig right there. Top of the mouth, top lip, easy release. That's not gonna be a keeper. Thick though, I mean, they're healthy guys. They're eating, that's for dang sure. They are eating. You know what I'm gonna do guys? I'm gonna go a little bit deeper. Sometimes, not all the time, those bigger crappie will hang out below those smaller fish. Now that's not always the case, but I have seen it in the past. We are going to cut these two little keepers we got today. I just wanted to see how many, I could, how many keepers I could catch out of this creek. I knew it wasn't gonna be many, but we're gonna go ahead and let these two go. And they're still alive and well. As you can see, see you buddy. There's one off. And then the second one, there he goes. See you buddy. I'll be back for you guys later. Well, there it is guys. How to catch crappie in the creek on Jig and Bobber. I do hope that you learned something from this video. And if you did, be sure to smash that like button. YouTube loves when you do that. And y'all be sure to be on the lookout for more creek crappie fishing. I know this wasn't my typical, you know, catching big crappie from the creek and all that stuff. But I wanted to make a video where you would for sure learn something. Especially the people that are just getting into creek crappie fishing and that really don't know much. And a simple jig and bobber right here will catch you crappie in the creeks. Probably right down the road from your house and you didn't even know it. So go use these tips and techniques that I showed you in this video to go catch you some creek crappie. Also, if you're more interested in seeing how I rig up this slip bobber setup, I know it, it may be kind of difficult for me to do with the camera on my head. That video is actually on the channel. Go to playlist, go to how to playlist, and that video should be the first video there. I will actually link it at the very end of this video, so be sure to stick around for that. And shout out to all the channel members, guys. Your names will be at the end of this video as well. All of the monster, slab, and keeper crappie channel member names will be at the end. Y'all be sure to be on the lookout for that. Y'all don't forget about PCFun.com. Use code 903FISH15 to save you 15% off of your order. And don't forget about ACCCrappiesticks.com as well. Guys, I'm telling you, the PC Fun Reel with the ACC Crappie Sticks is going to catch you some Creek Crappie this fall and winter. So don't forget to go check out. All of their information will also be in the description of this video. And don't forget about Slab City Jigs and them 903 Fish and Stinger Series. Those are my go-to in the creek in the fall and winter. And if you're already subscribed, guys, thank you so much. God bless you. Y'all know I would not be doing this without you guys. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting. It means the world to me. Thank y'all so much. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, you love crappie fishing, whether it be from the boat, bank, kayak, it really doesn't matter. We catch crappie year round here on the 903 Fishing Channel. And I can also teach you how to catch crappie year round. So smash that subscribe button. Come join the family. Like always, like, comment, and subscribe to 903 Fishing. Y'all have a great day. God bless.